welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and had a nice week. Today I wanted to film a chatty video for you guys. I just wanted to sit down in front of the camera and talk to you about some things I'm kind of loving at the moment, using a lot and just things that I recommend to you. Uh, I know it's like a weird time to do a video like this because it's the middle of the month. It's like too late for a June favourite and too early for a July favourite. So I'm just going to call this like a random current favourites. It's actually a mixture of a few different kind of things. It's not just all beauty like my usual favourites videos. I actually have a few random things in there as well that just I've been really liking and that I would recommend to you guys too. So yeah, I know it's a little random but I know you enjoy these more chatty videos and I really enjoy filming them for you as well and I actually enjoy watching other YouTubers do these videos too so I hope you like it and let's just jump right into it. The first thing I want to talk to you about is a lip gloss which I think is a big beauty item during the summer for some reason. I feel like during the winter I wear a lot more mattes and during the summer all I have been wearing is lip gloss and there's a few ones that I love and go to all the time but this one has just stood out to me so much this summer and it's the Glass Bomb by Fenty Beauty. Um, I got this ages ago, I think I got it in maybe January with like a Christmas voucher or something and I remember I bought it, came home, put it in some press and I could not find it for weeks so I actually kind of forgot about it, didn't really think about it and then I found it one day and I had just gotten hooked on it ever since. I'm obsessed with this guys, every time I wear it people ask me what's on my lips. It's just such a nice glass, I can totally see why Rihanna just came out with this one at the time. Like when she brought out the collection I remember thinking whoa it's kind of weird to just bring out like one universal glass because everybody kind of likes different glasses you know some people like shimmer, some people don't like shimmer, some people like colour, some people don't. Um, but this one it's shimmery and it has colour in it so I thought that it was weird of her at the time but I can totally see why she did now because it is amazing. It looks to me like it suits everybody because I've seen this on so many different skin tones and I've worn it when I'm pale and when I have tan on and it just looks amazing every single time. So if you're on the lookout for a gloss right now, I honestly recommend this. It's really, really nice on, it doesn't smell, it's not too sticky and it lasts. That's the main thing with glasses for me. I want them to last and this one definitely does. So yeah, I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out. Um, it honestly is so, so good and I do think it's worth the price. I think it was around $23, which is kind of normal for a glass from any of like the higher end brands these days. But honestly, as I said, I do think it's worth it. So yeah, check that one out. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a cheaper product that you'll be happy to know about. Um, this is a brow product that I've been trying out this month. I've actually been trying it for the last maybe five weeks now. And it is the NYX Micro Brow pencil. This is it here, it has no lid in it because of course I lost it. But yeah, brow products are something I'm actually very fussy with. I don't usually like go out and buy new ones because I probably know already from previous videos. I love my Anastasia Brow Promad. Use that for years, really like it. I love the Benefit pencil, really, really like that too. So I often don't really go out and buy brow products because I'm just happy with what I have and I don't really need to. But NYX actually sent me a package a few months ago and this was in it and I was just kind of intrigued by it. So I tried it out and I am obsessed. I have been wearing it nonstop. I have it on today. My brows are a bit crazy at the moment though. They need to be done, so don't take any notice. But I do have it on today and I've been wearing it throughout all my trips I've gone on, um, every day going to work. It's just super super quick and easy. It gives me a great colour straight away. I just absolutely love this and I've gotten so many people hooked on it as well. Eric is hooked on it, my friend Brida is hooked on it. Um, they all tried mine and they absolutely love it as well. So it's not just me that loves it, which I always know is a good sign. Um, this is so good and I think it's only like $6.95. I'm not sure about Euro, but that is really good compared to other products I have. And yeah, if you're looking for a new brow product to try this summer, something quick and easy and that you can do in like a couple of minutes, this is the one for you. I literally do my brows with this product in less than two minutes. I just go straight through the brows with the pencil and brush them with a the spoolie. I always love when they have a spoolie on the back. And yeah, honestly, highly recommend this one and the price is so good too. So definitely try this out. Next up is another eye product. And this is something as well that got sent to me recently enough. I'm very lucky sometimes to get lovely packages. And sometimes I don't really use anything from the package, but other times I look out and I find a product that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And this has definitely been one of those. And it is the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. The minute I saw this palette, I just knew it was going to be my summer palette. I knew it was going to come with me everywhere and I knew I was just going to reach for this one over all the other ones all the time. It is amazing. Please ignore how dirty it is now because I just used it for my eyes. But look at the colours in that. For me with the palette, I always look for a few colours straight off the bat and that kind of decides straight away for me whether I like it or not or whether I'm going to reach for it and use it a lot. And this one ticked all those boxes for me straight away. It had a nice pink as a transition, a light shimmery colour 
for the inner corner under the brow two lovely champagne -y golds um, shimmery colors the dark brown up here a lighter brown down here an orange these are all colors that I just run to and I absolutely love this one as well it's like a transition brown and yeah the minute I saw all of them in the palette I was like yes you are the palette I've been looking for my whole life because it's rare to find all the colours you love in one palette so yes I'm obsessed with this and I can definitely confirm that they're really really good eyeshadows I mean I've used Urban Decay eyeshadows for years it was probably my first palette I ever got I think I actually think it was I think the Naked was one of the first palettes I ever bought and they've honestly never let me down so yes if you're in the search for a new palette this is my number one recommendation at the moment I know I buy palettes like no tomorrow and I'm always recommending different ones but right now this is the one I would recommend for you to invest in. I'm not sure of the exact price but I will link it below and I'll pop the price here somewhere in the screen but honestly you get so many colors it's a nice size it's not too heavy it comes with a big mirror and it's just really handy like it fits into my makeup bag I just honestly adore this palette so thank you to Urban Decay for sending me this it's definitely one of my favorite things I've ever ever gotten and yes definitely check this out if you are looking for some new eyeshadows and the last beauty thing I want to talk about is a tan because I have been addicted to wearing tan this summer. Like during the winter I don't really wear tan. If I have to at the weekend I'll throw on some instant tan and that's kind of it for me just because I'm so lazy and during the winter you're pretty much covered up here in New York. But since summer has started I have not stopped putting on tan. I'm literally doing it every single week. I don't think I've been pale one day this summer yet. I'm just scrubbing off and putting on more because I just feel so much better in it. I think everything looks better, your makeup, your hair, your clothes, and of course with travels as well, I'm always wearing tan because I will not put on a bikini without tan. I, I know everyone's not that way, but for me, I just am because I'm so pale and I don't tan in the sun and I'd rather not like burn my skin and things. So it's just easier to have it on before you go. But anyway, as I was saying, it's a tan that I want to talk about and it is the Be Perfect Tan. This is actually an Irish brand. And it's a brand that I have worked with actually in the past over on Instagram in case you're wondering if this is sponsored it's not I just am including it because it would be silly not to it has been one of my favorite products the whole summer I have used it more than anything else I'd say that I showed you it is just amazing I've always tried different tans growing up I never kind of stuck to one and given it to my loyalty but this one I have been fully hooked on it's just gotten me like no other it's just so easy and for me that's what I look for in a tan I look for something that I can throw on really quickly without being too careful it comes out in a few hours doesn't smell that bad doesn't go on my clothes and stuff like that and is easy to take off and for me this ticks all those boxes I literally put this on once a week it lasts me the whole week I'm on like day six right now with it if you can see it on my arm I put it on last Saturday and it, today's Friday so yeah it just always lasts me and again when I get to day six or day seven it comes off really easily and I can just do the whole thing again so yeah I honestly cannot recommend this tan anymore I use the dark watermelon right now because I just feel like I, I want to be darker during summer there is a medium coconut which my sister Erica swears by and I can definitely see myself transitioning to that color for winter just because it gives you more of a glow rather than like a tan but right now I've been using this one and honestly I really really like it the team did give me a discount code so I'll pop that in the description box if you want to use it it's Kaylin 15 as I said not sponsored you don't have to use it but you do get 15% off if you do want to try it off the website so I'll leave that there for you and honestly you will not regret it I bet you you'll fall in love with it too and get completely addicted like me <laughs> okay moving on to some non-beauty favorites the first one I'm going to show you is this necklace I'm wearing actually these two necklaces I'm wearing I got these about a month ago at an event I went to. They're both from a brand called Missoma London and I actually went to a, an event with Erica yeah, about a month ago, um, it was with a blogger called Rebecca Lowry and um, they collaborated with her and they had a lovely event here in New York and we actually got these two necklaces each uh, in a little box um, as we were leaving the event and I think I've probably worn them every single day since I got them. I just absolutely adore them. They're such good quality. I've literally been wearing them in the shower and everything and they have not tarnished. They go with everything. They've completed all my outfits this summer and I just feel like they make everything look better for some reason. I don't know. I know like these layered necklaces are so in this summer I had a few other ones bought actually um from like Topshop and H&M and places but they all went like so rusty so quickly so I was just so happy when I got these they're definitely a little bit more expensive I think the bigger one here that I have is about 150 I think and I think this one's like 110 maybe but I'll link them below um but yeah a little bit more expensive 
expensive but honestly they've lasted so much better as I said than the other ones I'm wearing them in the shower which I know I shouldn't have but like that's always a sign to me that they didn't rust in the shower they're bulletproof um so yeah honestly really recommend them I'll link them below just in case I got the prices wrong which I think I did but yeah I'll link them below and you can check them out for yourself they're so so nice and we actually met the two women behind the brand as well and they were so so lovely they do rings as well and I think they do bracelets and things like that and I actually saw on their Instagram the other day they have these necklaces that you can get like initials on now which I would absolutely love so yeah if you're looking for some nice little layered necklaces like kind of everyone at the moment these might be the ones for you Next thing is something I can't physically show you but it is another thing I've been absolutely loving over the last month and it is a fitness class actually which is unusual for me but it is a reformer pilates class I've been going to. I've been going to them in the New York Pilates studios and um, so there's like four of them around the city I think and what happened was we actually went to an event with Lakatan about two months ago I'd say. And we did a class as part of the event and I just kind of got hooked straight away. I just loved it. Like I absolutely hate exercise. So the straight away when I realized that I loved it, I was like, oh my God, this is great. I actually finally like something. So yeah, when we were leaving the event, they gave us a goodie bag with like five free classes. So I've been doing them um, over the last few weeks and I'm just loving them so much. I feel so much better like just doing something. I know it's only once a week and it's only for an hour, but it just makes me feel so much better. And like when I eat something bad, I don't feel as guilty and yeah I can just see myself really like keeping them up and actually sticking to something so when the five classes are over I'm going to buy another like five or ten I think they're actually quite expensive for classes but in New York most classes are expensive so I'm just going to go with it and I can spend my money worse ways I guess um, but yeah if you're in New York and you're looking to try a new class I would really recommend it Um, it's a reform of Pilates as I said so if you've done Pilates you'll be aware it's kind of like that but it's on the machine the reformer machine and it's just really enjoyable like there's no part of the class where I'm like I absolutely hate this like get me out of here like I've done spinning before and after five minutes I was just like oh my god I can't I can't do this I'm so unhappy right now but these classes are just so enjoyable like they don't drag on you feel like good doing them and you feel the effects straight away like you're sore the next day but like not too sore you know well a little bit but not too sore that you won't go back if you know what I mean so yeah really enjoying them and I'm glad to have finally have a bit of exercise back in my life and to finish off I have my last favorite for you and it is an app it's an editing app so I've been really getting into editing over the last month or two um I've just been kind of playing around with different things on my Instagram like different filters and different presets and kind of just trying to find like what kind of theme I want to go with for my Instagram. I know that probably sounds silly to some of you, but I just love editing photos. I don't have a photography background or anything like that, and I'm not very good at taking photos, but when I have a good photo, I love to edit it and just make the most out of it and just make it look cool and kind of different and, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but just kind of do my best with it. Um, so I've been trying out a few different apps, and one of my favorite bloggers, Tezza, um, a lot of you probably know her already, she's amazing, she's such a great eye for photography and she edits her pictures so so well. She brought out an app this month and it's called the Tezza app. So this is it here, I don't know if you'll see properly, but it's an app where you can edit your photos and there's like guides on how to pose and like other little bits and pieces like the best places to shoot in NYC and other bits like that and yes I've been absolutely loving that I've been like editing my last few photos with it I'll insert them here so you can see them but yeah if you're into editing and if you just want to like play around with some stuff for your Instagram or whatever else like it doesn't have to be Instagram it can just be your own personal thing you might enjoy this app and like it too um, I've been really liking it it only costs $1.99 a month so it's not too bad as apps go and you get like five or six filters and she's actually coming out with more this week I think so hopefully there'll be more soon to play around with and yeah there's just loads of other little bits as well you can do on it like you can make the photo more grainy or you can um, bring down the warmth or bring up the brightness and all those kind of things but I've just been really enjoying it and I love the way it's making my photos look so yeah I have been getting a few questions lately so I thought I'd include that in the video and also it's just something that I've been loving this month and so I thought it fit in well okay and I think I'm gonna leave it there with you guys I know this video is a bit of a random one kind of like a mixture of a lot of things put in there but I just wanted to share with you what I've been loving. As I said, none of this stuff is sponsored or anything like that. It's just a chatty video to share some recommendations with you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to do that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.